The media claims that Tesla has just fired a bunch of employees at its gigafactory in New York because they're trying to unionize the workforce. Is this true? Did Tesla actually do this? Or are the media simply embellishing this story to get some clicks? Well, I think I've got the facts. You may not like this video. If you don't like Tesla, well, time to tune out. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in. Right now, I'm in Thailand here with my boys. Shanna's here. She's getting her cancer treatments and she's feeling pretty sick today, pretty nauseous. But I think it is possibly starting to work. I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much, but I think it is. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for helping us out on Patreon. Had a few Patreons come on board recently. Great to have you. And YouTube members as well. You can check out our YouTube member section. I'll put a link in the description below. Plus, we now have a merchandise store. We only make 10% profit on the merchandise. And that profit, of course, goes to the cancer, fighting this cancer battle every single cent will, of course. So, my friends, Tesla have fired some employees at their gigafactory in New York. It was reported a couple of days ago that there was an attempt to unionize by some employees. Now, at the same time, this was reported to be completely objectively fair. Those employees were attacking Tesla. Um, you know, whether or not that's acceptable in your workforce, if it's acceptable for you to just attack your boss, attack your business in your workforce on public forums. I don't know, but here in Australia, that's not actually allowed. You can't just like, if you work for a major company or if, in fact, for any company, you can't just jump on the, the company's personal messaging service and distribute your anti-company information. Now, there's nothing wrong with trying to unionize, nothing at all. You can do that. If you want to, you can try and unionize. I think as far as I'm aware, unless it's written into your contract, you can't do that. You can do that, but you cannot do what the Tesla employees were doing, which is basically rubbishing your company, saying, you know, I don't agree with the way things are done here, things are done badly, you know, we need to, this is a bad company. That's essentially what some of them, not all of them, that's what some of them were doing. Now, obviously the union that is behind this, that are trying to get into the Tesla Gigafactory in Buffalo and New York, they have, I think, exaggerated, embellished some facts here. And so if you don't like Tesla, well, this narrative would be, would be something you'd support. You wouldn't want to know about the facts. You'd just say, well, I don't like Tesla, therefore I like this narrative. But if you actually look at the facts, one thing stands out to me, and that is that when this story was first reported on, even Bloomberg, even the mainstream media were saying there actually wasn't any direct resistance from Tesla to stop unionization of the workforce. Now, we all know that that's not really true. Elon Musk, for example, doesn't support unions. And some people would agree with that. Some people would disagree. Now, there is a lot of corruption in unions. Some unions are good. Some unions are not so good. Here in Australia, we lost our entire automotive industry entirely. We used to have car manufacturing industry. It doesn't exist here in Australia anymore at all. It's all gone. It was a fairly significant part of our economy. It's all gone. Many people claim that is because of the union. Now, I'm not saying that it is. I'm just telling you that that's what many people think. They made it too hard to do business here in Australia. That can happen. I'm not saying it does all the time, but it can. So employees here at the labeling facility, it's like an autopilot area where they label the data from Tesla. They see all the images and they have to label them. They were saying they're not allowed to take toilet breaks. They are under immense pressure. They have terrible working conditions, basically like slave labor. That's what they were claiming. When I say they, it's a very small percentage of the workforce. It's a number of, I think it was about 15 people, something like that. So then what happens, right? A couple of days later, the media reports that Tesla has fired those staff that were complaining. Was it actually true? Well, only one media source that I'm aware of actually printed the correct true story, which is that Tesla fired one of those 15 to 20 people. Not all of them, one of them. But the media, of course, didn't have the full facts. So Tesla already says that in a recent filing with the US National Labor Relations Board, the Workers United noted, that's a union by the way, that Tesla laid off dozens of Giga New York employees in retaliation for union activity and to discourage union activity. The union also asked the Labor Board to pursue a federal court injunction to prevent irreparable destruction of employee rights resulting from Tesla's unlawful conduct. So that was a public statement from the union. 
Personally, I would be very surprised if Tesla doesn't sue this union. Unless this union have, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars in backing, making a public statement like that when you know that that's a false statement, and it is actually a false statement, it's turned out now that it has been a false statement, and I'll disclose exactly why that is in just a second, but making a public statement like that to the, to the entire world when you know it's not true, to me is, well, it does paint a picture of this particular union as possibly being one that isn't very honest. That's sad to see. Personally, I think unions can often be a good thing. But unfortunately, this union appears to me from the get-go to be setting an example of what unions do badly. And that is sometimes using publicity, using the media for their own purposes to manipulate the public. They're definitely manipulating the public here. The reason being here, they said, Tesla laid off dozens of Giga New York employees in retaliation for union activity. So did they lay off dozens of employees in retaliation for union activity? Is that actually true? Well, actually, no, they laid off one person. Did they lay off one person for union activity? Maybe. I don't know. Tesla's saying they didn't. The person's saying they did. Don't know. But the point is here, not even the people involved in this are saying that Tesla laid off dozens of them because they didn't. They only laid off one of this group. So the group that was attempting to unionize only one of them has been laid off. And Tesla is saying that person was actually notified that they would be laid off weeks before, as in weeks before their public statement, meaning they knew they were about to be laid off because of poor performance. And then they disclosed that they were unhappy with Tesla. It's not fair. And they didn't support Tesla's antics because it wasn't fair. Now, the workers who attempted to unionize apparently asked for job security, more pay, and a say in the decision-making at Gigafactory New York. Now, personally, I, I mean, this is a new age concept. What do you think about this? Tell me, a say in the decision-making. Now, I understand wanting job security. I understand that, especially when you have poor performance or average performance. I personally have probably felt that way in the past at some of my jobs. Job security would be good here because I feel like I'm not performing that great or, or just in general, I want job security to be nice. Now, I get that. But what I'm curious about is why you'd think that as an employee, you should have decision-making in your workforce. Do you feel that way? Like if you work for Microsoft, that you should be making decisions about what's going on at Microsoft? Maybe small ones, but yeah, I'm curious to know why they thought they should be making decisions on how things were done. I find that a bit odd. Now, the employees aimed to curb factors they claimed were harmful to their health, including monitoring, metrics, and production pressure. The Workers United Union also noted that the pressure was heavy for the autopilot labeling team's workers, and some can't even take bathroom breaks. I don't think that's actually true. I mean, maybe it is, but if it were, you'd think that maybe more than you know a couple of people out of the 650 people that are part of the autopilot workforce here would be saying, this is ridiculous. We can't even go to the toilet. This is absolutely insane. This is literally worse than slave labor. I mean, even in China, you can take a bathroom break. Yeah, maybe some businesses discourage it, but you can. So, I mean, saying they can't even go to the toilet, that seems incredibly extreme. And maybe that's not quite true. In a blog post addressing the issue, Tesla said this, there is a false allegation that Tesla terminated employees in response to a new union campaign. While the electric vehicle maker admitted that some employees who were part of the autopilot labeling team were indeed terminated, it was not due to the unionization attempt. Tesla stated that it conducts performance review cycles for its employees every six months, as many businesses do. If employees are not able to meet their performance expectations, they get laid off from the company. Tesla said that it actually operates this way for all of its facilities everywhere around the, around the planet, everywhere, as in Fremont, Texas, Germany, China, everywhere. And apparently this latest performance review cycle ended in December. So there's a good chance that this one person who was laid off from this union team or attempt to unionize team was actually told much earlier. Now, on December the 13th, 2022, Tesla managers received communication about the review schedule. The message included information stating that exits for low performing employees would begin in the week of February 12, 2023, about 4% of the autopilot labeling team in Giga New York were exited as a result of the July 2022 to December 2022 review cycle. Tesla explained that the employees were not terminated without warning. The employees let go as part of the process received prior feedback on their poor performance from the managers over the course of the review period. Despite feedback, they did not demonstrate sufficient improvement, Tesla said. Then Tesla said these workers were told that they will be terminated on the 3rd of February, as in well before this public statement came out. 
And like I said, only one of these workers who are part of this attempt to unionize group were actually laid off. Now, it turns out there was actually 27 employees who were trying to unionize the company. And in fact, 26 of those 27 are still employed. Personally, I don't really think there's gonna be much difference if one of those 27 are fired because of their previous poor performance or Tesla's claims their previous performance was bad. I mean, at this rate, it would literally take Tesla 13.5 years to fire all 27 employees, one per six months, which is what they're saying they're doing, one per six months, two per year, 13.5 years to get rid of them. Uh, I really think this is not a genuine story from the media. I think the media made this up. Bloomberg even said in their story, right, Tesla only fired one of the 27. Even Electric, right, didn't admit or disclose those facts in their reporting on the story. I really am sort of over this misrepresentation of any company. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if it's Microsoft, Google, I don't care who it is. I'm sort of sick of the media. I feel like the media are getting away with things that they shouldn't be. I don't understand why they don't ever get sued. Why do the media never get sued for saying stuff like this? Why do they never disclose the correct information? Now, how is it this union is able to say that dozens of employees were laid off as a result of they're wanting to unionize when only one of the 27 were? To me, that is just clearly blatantly false. Those are my thoughts. Honestly, if people want to unionize at Tesla in Gigafactory, in the Gigafactory in New York, I don't really care. Good on them. But I don't like it when the media lies. And that's why I made this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.